2022, I read a lot of books. I actually read more spiritual books than I have in any other year of my life. Part of that was I did a yoga teacher training, so I read a lot of the yoga classics. I'll actually look them up later and I'll scroll them in this video. And so trying to figure out what have I learned this year from all of this reading? What's like the, what's the theme? What am I taking away from this? So this is my lesson. The average human experience, adult human experience here on earth, it's very up and down. You're happy, you're sad. You're anxious and worried and there's grief and despair. And the place where we spend the least amount of time is actually in the middle. And the middle is where all the magic actually happens. And so a lot of us would know this concept as detachment. Level one of being a human, it's constantly getting swung back and forth by your emotions. You can't control it, you are all of your feelings. And to get to level two, what you need to do is detach yourself from these swings and how you're feeling. So this means we remember we are not our feelings. The fundamental part of this is that inside of us is an intellectual center. And the job of that intellectual center is to argue. It's to prove ourselves right and to prove everybody else wrong. And when we're doing that, we are in the lowest level of thinking. The higher level of thinking is to accept things as they are. Oh, this person disagrees with me. They are a different religion than me. They have a different political party than I do. And instead of focusing on how they're wrong, how they should be more like you, you realize they are who they are. And is this something that really needs to affect you as much as it does? Do we really need to get that attached to being right in this particular situation? It's really about not letting things bother you so much. So it's like people can compliment you or they can insult you. And the key to all of it is finding the place where you just don't care. You don't care if they're right or they're wrong. You don't care if they like you or they don't. You just find the place where you're okay with you. You're okay with you and you're okay with them. And you accept them for how they are, even if their entire model of reality from your perspective is just wrong. That's okay. They can be wrong. They can be the wrongest person on earth. They can be the biggest jerk on earth. They have the right to do so. And it's in that accepting of who these people are, however they are, that you actually release any of that internal tension and that intellectual center talking to you about how can you change this situation? How can you get this situation more into your control? So I guess the real question then is how? How do we do this thing? How do we release our attachment to being right to controlling things. Very simply put, it's finding the observer and finding the observed. So there's like that quote, I'm annoying myself. So then there's I, and then there's myself, the I that's being the annoying and the myself that is annoyed. So those are two different entities inside of you, the observed and the observer. The observer is the you that can watch your thoughts. And really a lot of these books just focus on different yoga practices, things like breath work, and especially meditation to start the practice of finding the you versus your thoughts. Because the more you can stay separate from your thoughts, the more that you are back in that middle neutral place where you're not swinging back and forth with every thought that enters your mind. So when in doubt, if you're upset about something and you need to find the middle, the question is going to be, what am I attached to? Because when you find whatever the outcome is that you're, you're really stuck on, you can find what it is that you need to release and accept. Because when we release and accept, we ultimately quiet down our intellectual center. And in doing that, we're able to ascend to a higher level of consciousness.